What's up guys? Welcome to another video. I'm Lori if you're new here. So you can see I am camping this weekend. We have an RV and here in Ontario they just recently opened up the camping. Yay! We we're so excited. Sorry I have to put my sunglasses on. Um, so they just opened it up. So we actually booked our first weekend camping of the season <clears throat> in Sable Beach which is, uh, I'll put the name up on the screen here. It's supposed to be beautiful and they have this amazing beach here <laughs> but unfortunately Due to COVID, they closed the beach two, three days ago. So we won't be checking out the beach this particular weekend. Um, but you can see, I just wanted to show you our site and then I'll show you what kind of things we get up to. This is my hubby looking fine as ever. <laughs> so this is our site. So we got our trailer and then we just bought this new, we'll call it a kitchen tent. So we put the, uh, the picnic table in so we can eat there bug free. Got a little fire pit, so it's not bad site actually very private almost all of the sites are like that we're kind of like in this little wing quietness and we brought our bikes because we have been going biking a bit and here's the trailer there's the teenager Aw, there's my little boy. And this is where the dog goes, the safest place for him, because look at his size. So because of COVID, they've actually, uh, I think the swimming pools, some places are keeping the pools closed, but they've actually kept the pools open, but you have to pick a time slot when you want to swim. So that way they limit how many people are swimming. So not a bad idea. My son and I went swimming last night. how many cops were blocking the beach because I told you that the beach is closed because of COVID and this is because another big beach in Ontario called Coburg Beach opened up a few weeks ago and it was like I don't know how many thousands of people flocked there during COVID so because of that they all the other towns followed suit and said oh we're not gonna be like them and we're gonna close our beach too so yeah and this is basically uh, what are we the middle of June no it's the end of what, what is, oh, it's, it's Canada Day. Yeah, because yeah, Canada Day is in a couple of days. So yeah, it's actually the end of June. So yeah, the beach is closed, so crazy. But it's a beautiful beach. It's still all along here. So it's, um, we also have Wasega Beach in Ontario, which is the longest freshwater beach, I think in North America, maybe Canada. I'll put the facts up on the screen. So yeah, I'm curious to see how this fares with the other beach. But anyways, we're just driving along. We just wanted to check it out. So it's too bad we can't go, but it's not that great of a, like it's not really a sunny day or anything. So we may just stop and just pop into little shops.
guys. So right beside our site is this church. So we're just gonna go check out the sunset. It actually looks like it's pink and beautiful. See all the bugs flying around me? <laughs> So just to let you know, you have two options to pay. This is Sobel Falls Provincial Park. So you have an option to pay $15.50, I think, for the car load for the full day. Or if you pass that parking lot and you go to another parking lot over the bridge, you can actually have the option to pay two hours or four hours. So that's what we decided to do. We just did two hours. And uh, it's great. I see everyone walking around with their towels. So apparently we can swim. Because I did tell you yesterday that the uh, all the beaches are closed. So we'll see. Is it just me? Or is it hard to agree with what you're trying to explain? I don't mind feather wings, no diamond rings, but that's not how you get to me, no. We could sit in the shade, talk to late. Then we'll see We can go for walks Throw down the city park And maybe, just maybe
uh, I'm just gonna have a salad for lunch and I'm making tofu on the grill for the first time and uh, I normally have tofu with like soy sauce or maple syrup and smoked paprika and I don't have any of those things here except for maple syrup so I'm just gonna use barbecue sauce <laughs> so we'll see how it turns out Okay, so I'm gonna try one of these. I normally prefer tofu in the air fryer. I actually don't even like it um, like in the oven or, well, I've never fried it actually, but. Oh. So it's not as dry as the air fryer. It's still very soft, but I'm gonna sit here and enjoy my salad. Okay, so kind of funny how they closed Sobble Beach, but 15 minutes up the road in Southampton, the beach is open here. So apparently uh, social distancing and COVID doesn't matter out here. Who knew? <laughs> Hey guys, so you can see I have a little bit of a tan. We did go to that, um, the Sable Falls, but I didn't bring my camera because I actually went in the water. So unfortunately, I know if it didn't, if there's no picture, it didn't happen, but it did happen. But anyway, so we're back now at the trailer. So we're just making dinner. So the bonus thing about having this trailer is you can have a nice big dinner. So we actually, my husband brought his barbecue. So we're actually gonna have barbecue nachos. So here's mine. Look at all the veggies I got mango salsa, there's tomatoes, I have uh, chopped up leftover barbecue tofu that I made yesterday, chopped up greens, I got uh, red pepper, this is um, zucchini that we made, or this is uh, summer squash and zucchini is in here also, um, just stuff that we had on the barbecue, so you know what, just throw, oh and there's also onions, so throw in any kind of leftovers you have and boom, it's like a quick, easy, somewhat healthy dinner. Smorgasbord. Smorgasbord, that's right. Borgy boy, bark, 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 bark. Borgy bark, 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 Is that from the Muppets? Yes. Oh, good one. Sweetest chef. <laughs> yeah, I know. I just couldn't remember where. Anyways, you can see we're having good times in here, but it's actually really hot, so we're going to get this on the barbecue, and I'll show you one. Oh, yeah, and I'm using this cheese. Okay, so these are called the cutting board shreds, and these actually melt. So if you see some of my old videos, well, not old, like a month or two, I made the potato skins, and I made, um, couple of other things oh lentil zucchini lasagna and that I use this cheese and oh my gosh it totally melts so if you've if you've tried Daya before which is a vegan cheese and you didn't like it try it again but try make sure you get this one that says the cutting board shreds because I'm going to show you guys it does actually melt stay tuned just checked out of our campsite um, so we're on our way back it's about a three hour drive so if you are in the area I don't know if I like it's not a bad park I would say if you like the quiet it's a definitely a quiet park so it really depends what you like and where our site was it was nice and private we just had a view of like the shrub and a church <laughs> so right yeah pretty much <laughs> but we didn't no scenic, no scenic look out there 
No, exactly. I mean, it's not a party place. We've been to other parks like Shirkston, and if you want to watch that video, you can click on the right hand corner of your screen. That was like a, a bigger park, lots of action, lots more people, lots of things in there. Um, so this was great though. They did have the two pools, which was great. We went swimming, I think, pretty much every day. It was a great location if you do want to go to Sobel Beach area, although like I said, the beach was closed because of COVID, but we did go to the falls twice. So it's definitely a great place. I would recommend it. Um, but anyways, let me know if you have been there in the comments below and if you would check it out. And until next time, live your life with kindness for all living beings. Take care. Bye.